I'm pleased to announce that under the Recovery Act, we are making the largest ever investment in a smarter, stronger, and more secure electric grid. This investment will come in the form of 100 grants totaling $3.4 billion. What is the smart grid? There are several definitions, and I like to say that the smart grid is in the eye of the beholder. Fundamentally, most people think of it as the merger of the electric power infrastructure and a communications command and control infrastructure. But basically, using modern day computer technology to make the grid operate better and cheaper. Smart meters will allow you to actually monitor how much energy your family is using by the month, by the week, by the day, or even by the hour. So coupled with other technologies, this is going to help you manage your electricity use and your budget at the same time. One of the themes that came across at the conference on the panel I was on was that technology isn't necessarily the roadblock to implementing a smarter grid. There needs to be a political will to modernize the grid to allow these renewable energy sources to be connected. A lot of people are working on fantastic technologies for renewable uh, energy resource uh, capture, uh, tidal, solar, wind. But if we don't consider that we need something strong and capable to hook it to, what we call the grid, we're not going to make any progress. So at this moment, there's something big happening in America when it comes to creating a clean energy economy. And I've often said that the creation of such an economy is going to require nothing less than the sustained effort of an entire nation. So there definitely was a consensus that we're moving in the right direction. Uh, the technology is there. We, uh, the, the, the will to move it forward is there, the value is there, and we're starting to see some of the political movement uh, in regulation and general policy to achieve these objectives. Mm -hmm.